All right, here we go. So I had a subscriber who has a four-door uh, Suzuki Sidekick, just like this one. Well, not just like this one, but the same model anyway. And uh, he's running 31s on it right now, and I think he's got a two-inch body lift on it. And he's seen pictures of this one with the big 33s on it and the four or five inch of uh, lift that we have on this one. And he's thinking about getting some different tires, but he doesn't necessarily want to want to cut like we had to do. He doesn't want to cut and modify any of these kinds of things. And I don't blame him, you know, and he would be concerned about the minimal clearance that we have here like anybody else would. But I told him that I had a set of 32s. And so I told him that I would mount those 32s so he could take a look and see what it looks like with 32s. And that way I'll be able to put you a shot up of probably a stock one, one with uh, 31s on it. And then we'll put some 32s on that one. And then of course this one with 33s. So you or him or anybody else will be able to take a look at it and see which tires and wheel combination is probably gonna be best suited for them. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna pull these wheels and tires off and we're gonna put us a nice set of 32s. Actually, they're 32 11 5 15. It's kind of an odd size, but it's hard to find a 32 uh, nowadays, uh, and this company still makes them, but um, they're just not as common. They're not stocked all over the place. Usually you're gonna have to order these, but that's what we're gonna do. So stay tuned. All right, look what we found. Here's a set of uh, 32 inch tires. Yep. BF Goodrich. I'm not sure who makes these wheels, but 32s. And we're going to try to put this on the 97 four door. So that's what we're going to do with these. What we're going to do today is we're going to pull these 33s off of this 97 four door. Suzuki Sidekick, and we're going to replace it with some 32s that we got off of a newer Jeep, and um, it's going to require some adapters because the bolt hole pattern is a little bit different. But this is—I uh, thought I'd shoot a little video so you can see what the 33s look like before I pull them off again. I'm sure there's a couple of videos with this in it and 33s on it, but. We're gonna take those off today. We put the 32s on, and um, uh, see what this, uh, what it does to make this, how this looks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these 33s off with some 32s on, and see what it does to the appearance. What does it do to the cool factor? That kind of stuff. So get ready. Here we go. All right, just to give you an idea, while we're doing this, on the right is a 32 11.5.15. And on the left is a 33 12 5 15. Doesn't it just look like there's just a lot more meat on the left than there is on the right? For let's just say, let's just deal with the width 11 5 versus 12 5. Okay, this 12 5 on the left, right here, let me see if I, there we go. See that? That's a 12 5. See that one? That's 11 5. Let me see if I can tap it for you. It's 11 5. That's the difference. You can see how much tire we're taking off. This might give us some better highway speed. That's because the tires are a lot lighter than these big ass 33s. But anyway, just to give you kind of a look at the difference. So there you go. There's your 32s. It's a little bit different than it did with those 33s, doesn't it? All right, now let's go do the front ones. Okay, now this is actually my preference the size of a tire for my kind of off-roading. So my two doors generally run 33s, and but they're set up for the desert. So we want 33s because the 33s give us additional ground clearance and we're in very rocky, uneven terrain. So I like the ground clearance that I get from the 33s. I also like the cool factor. And I like the stance and I like the way that it turns heads. It's not the best performer on the road though which that's why I only put them on my, uh, generally only put them on my two doors because my two doors, they never hit the pavement. The only time you'll see one of my two doors on the, on the blacktop is if it's on the way to the gas station. 
that, that's it. Um, I live in the desert, so I'm in the desert. I go out my my garage and I'm in the desert. So it begins w mountains and washes and cactuses and canyons and gullies and the whole nine yards. And it's right there, so I don't have to go on the pavement. So I'm not concerned about highway driving or cruising or gas mileage out there, you know, on that kind of stuff. Uh, I will tell you that this is not the tire uh, to go on a uh, geo tracker or a Suzuki sidekick if this is your daily commuter I would I would not recommend this uh, first of all the ride is going to be so rough because you had to lift it up and if you use a budget suspension that ride is going to be like a buckboard it's going to beat the hell out of you all day or I guess you could get a, a expensive aftermarket suspension system like our tan one our, our tan 94 that we just completed recently it's running 33s but it has a cal mini lift system on it and boy i gotta tell you that cal mini system is nice and smooth going down the road you you don't feel it like these other ones do so but anyway this is the tire that i choose but it may not be the best choice for you you have to look at how you use your vehicle i have a handful of these these geo trackers and suzuki sidekicks and they all do the exact same thing except this white one in the video today and this white one is generally the chuck wagon this is the one that brings the supplies out this is the one that brings the recovery stuff out this is the one that runs for parts this is the one that totes the welder and the generator and the tool system and the ice chests and the tents and that kind of stuff so that's its job so it doesn't need to have these great big tires on it though it looks pretty good there is a there is a, a cool factor involved and I, we do like it but uh, today we're going to give you a look at some different size tires that you might consider and that you might put on yours and what's right for you and that's what we're going to do so the next thing to consider is you know a lot of other people might want to uh, uh, decide to put different tires on here and there's a whole bunch of options on it so in this video we're going to try to show you a video with maybe a stock one uh, this one with 31s with these 32s and worth the 33 so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like but in the meantime let's take a look at some tire choices that you might have let me see if I can do this. okay so here's some tires these are some choices that you might be able to have okay determining what best suits you based on your suspension based on your lift based on the stature or the stand of your tracker or Suzuki or your sidekick. So this right here, this first one right here is a 215-75 R15. This is generally a standard, considered a standard size on a uh, unlifted geo tracker or Suzuki sidekick. And its dimensions, if I can get this to open up. So as you can see, this is almost 28 inch tire almost a 28 inch tire okay and then next to it this is the wheel that when we purchased this uh sidekick right here this white one it came with these wheels on it and this uh wheels and tires and this tires right here is a 235 75 r15 and it is actually almost almost 30 inches almost 30 inches tall so just under by 29 and a half but almost 30 inches tall. This is um, what the, this one came with, were these on it, and the spare, the spare tire was actually a little bit smaller. And then the first thing we did is we put a budget suspension lift on it with the, the puck that goes on top of the springs and on top of the strut, and we went out and we got us some 31 inch tires. And that's what you're seeing right here. I'll have to get in here kind of close, but there it is, 31, 10, 50, 15, okay? And this one, of course, is your 31 inch tire. So there's your 31, okay? It's your 31 inch tire, and it's a 10 5, which is, is your width ratio. It's not 10, 10 and a half inches, it's your ratio that they use. So, and then right here, this is a 32. But this is a 32 11 5 15. And this is what we're putting on, uh, or we just put on uh, this white four-door uh, sidekick and it of course is 32 inches in height so there we go 32 so um, that's what we're gonna put on here right now 11.5 I like the fact that, that it has a little bit more width to it I think this is actually gonna go do good this would probably do good in wooded areas um, uh, as well as a lot of rocky sandy areas as well 
but it's a it's a good tire that bf goodrich has had out for a long time and a lot of people have uh, uh really supported that tire so and speaking of the bf goodrich here's you another choice all right this is also kind of an odd size okay but this is a 33 10 5 15. 33 10 5. you don't really see that too much and if you'll notice how narrow the, the tread is here see on here this is an 11 5 and this is a 10 10 5 and i'm actually going to put these tires all side by side so you can look at the widths as well because that has to be a part of your decision making process as well but this is a 33 by uh, uh 10 50 so that's a tall skinny tire now in the desert a taller skinnier tire especially for these little geo trackers which are underpowered uh, as they are um, and because of all of our rocky terrain that skinnier tire a lot of times is, is a lot better choice for us because it puts a lot less stress on your axles is what it does we're not real heavy vehicles so i don't have to worry so much about sinking down in the sand as much as say oh i, I don't know one of the new broncos or uh, one of the big old chevy lifted four-wheel drive pickup trucks um, they, they're so heavy, they do sink in the sand a lot, but we're light. We're at 2,500 pounds for a two-door, maybe 27, 2,800 for a four-door, depending on your, your, your load that you're carrying. And so we do pretty good, and we can stay up on top of that sand a lot. And we do the same in the mud. We don't sink down in the mud as much as the larger vehicles do, too. So we don't really need that width that a lot of the bigger ones do. And, uh, uh, and these are our choices. Okay. Now, with each of these tires, with the exception of the two little tires, um, I'm gonna put in uh, still photographs of this white Suzuki with those different tires on it. This white Suzuki has uh, it's sported these 31s, it's sported these 32s, it's sported these 33s, and until yesterday, it was sporting these 33s. Yeah, that big daddy right there. Look at this one's even still got the print from being new. I haven't even put it in rotation yet. So, but that's what we're going to do next. We're going to go across them. I'm going to put them side by side so you can see the different widths and you can see the different heights and all of them. Okay? Okay. So here's a side by side of your tires. Okay? So the first one, you can see the width, is a 215.75 R15. The next one is a 235.75 R15. The next one is a 31.10.5 R15. The next one is a 32.11.5 R15. The next one is a 33.10.5 R15. And the last one is the big daddy here, the 33.12.5 R15. Now you can see them all. And you can kind of see, kind of get an idea of what's on, the, on there now with that 11.5. So you can kind of see the difference that it would make. So. Oh yeah. Okay, so a lot of the questions we get are, what's the best size tire to run and what do we need to do to put this size on or that size on or, or that kind of a thing? Well, in this particular case, a subscriber asked uh, to see what does the four-door Suzuki Sidekick or GeoTracker, the four-door, what does it look like with 32s on it? They've seen the 33s on it. We've had several videos with it with the 33s on it. But what's the 32s do to it? And this is what the 32s are. These are 32 11.5 15 BF Goodrich TA radials. 
standard BF Goodrich has been around for a long time, the good old BF Goodrich TA radio. So this is what the 32s look like. So as you can see here, the clearance right here is twice as what it was on the 33s. But I still do believe that you would have to trim your fenders out. And I also believe that you're gonna have to do a suspension lift. See that cup on the bottom of this, on top of the spring right there? And the cup on the top of the strut. And you're gonna have to do a body lift. And you can see right there, the little uh, frame that we make our own. Uh, we just did a video on doing the body lift and that's what your body lift looks like. So that's gonna give you about four to five inches of lift right there. And that's the clearance that you see right here. So this is 32s, 32 inch tires, 11, 5, 15s with four or five inches of lift, but they're budget lifts. So this is what it's gonna look like and how it's gonna uh, stand. This will be your stance. And it's not so bad, I'm, it's really not. And I haven't driven it yet to get what the mileage is because as you put larger tires on, your speedometer goes up. Like with the 33s, when we were doing 65, I believe it was actually 82 miles an hour. That is what we were actually moving at, even though our speedometer only read 65, but because of the larger circumference of the tire, uh, you know, in standard basic physics, we're moving faster. So these I haven't done yet. I might, I might be able to do that and take it out for a ride and, and just kind of clock that 55 and 60 and 65 and see what you're actually really getting. That would be interesting. So. All right. So there's your 32s. That's what your 32s look like on your four door 97 Suzuki four wheel drive. Lift it four or five inches. And that's what your 32s look like. You can see that the, the space is a little bit better here. See that? You got a little more clearance. You definitely don't have to cut there. This is going to work fine with that. Just like those 33s were. Still would have had to cut with these, 30, with these 32s, I believe. So, from the rear, and we're going to put those spacers on so they offset a little bit, so they stick out a little bit. Um, that's going to give you a little bit more stable ride uh, if you want. <clears throat> but, you know, the really right thing to do would be to just get you some 15 by 8 uh, rims uh, that go on here with a 5.5 bolt hole pattern, steel rims. I'm really not big on this aluminum stuff. We grab them because they're lightweight or they're handy or we find them somewhere, but we would prefer to go steel wheels. I mean, steel wheel, you get it out there and you get it bent on a rock or something like that. You know, you can take a hammer and you can fix that a little bit. But you start beating on these aluminum cast wheels uh, with a big old hammer, you're gonna just crack them and break them. So, anyway, at least you can see now what your 32s would look like. But it's not a bad looking rig, even with the 32s. So I actually think I'm gonna just leave them on there. I like them. So I like them. So there it is. One each. Suzuki Sidekick, Geo Tracker, you know, Scudo, whatever. The Tara with 32s. Look at that sunset in the background. See, this is Arizona. You see that sunsets? That's what sunsets are about. See that? Look at that. Look at that big sky.